Hey everyone, welcome back to Optimize Ebony. I wanted to do a quick video today on uh, tech research um, and what to really focus on, uh, particularly for different kinds of players, uh, because now there's a lot of research out there, right? You have the normal academy research, you have um, you have the uh, military academy research. You have the new tiers of the military academy research, the melee formation and the long range formation, all of the stuff that was that was there before, basically ground, mountain, range, and siege formations. Um, <laughs> and so it's it is confusing. It is it is confusing as to what do I work on first, what do I prioritize. Um, and there really isn't a one one size fits all answer to that um, because it really depends on um, how many tactics scrolls you have, what level your keep is, um, are you going to be able to upgrade to K41? Are you going to be able to keep upgrading your your keep level, or are you stuck at you know let's say K36 or K37 or you know uh, K40? You know some people some people are stuck at at K40 um, because you need to have victory column five, which um, victory column five has a requirement of having six fully specced uh, generals. And so, uh, you know, that's a lot of rune stones, particularly on that last rune stone uh, category. And so uh, some some people, particularly lower coiners, are again stuck on the on the, the victory column. It's it's kind of the the new version of the uh, two generals at 5.8 where People really struggled on that for a long time, particularly free-to-play players. Um, and so, uh, there's a lot of keeps that are stuck. They they can't they can't upgrade even if they have the resources, even if they have the speeds. And so, uh, really, what do you want to work on here? Um, and so, uh, I will split it into into m multiple different categories. So, let's say you are a K40 or below low coiner or free to play player. In that case, you absolutely need to be working on the normal academy. Um, uh, the assumption here would be that you've already you've already maxed the important stuff in the defense of uh, tier here, the military uh, tier here, uh, you know some of the the important things in medical aid, you know, really the, the important things that, that you need here, uh, the military advance, you know, that's that's super important. And you're really just waiting on this defense advance. And this this tier is quite frankly, it's awesome. I this is one of my my favorite things that came out with the K forty five update is new academy research. Um, and you can see that you know, at at my at my current academy level, I'm not able to max this stuff out, uh, but I maxed out what I could. You know, I basically got it to all of the highest levels, except for the stuff that really, really doesn't matter. So I will give you a hint: Archer Tower doesn't really matter. It 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 helps a tiny amount, but it's not really worth you know wasting your speeds, your gold, and stuff like that on traps. Unless you, for some reason, are building a lot of traps, and I, I really do not recommend it because they're so easy to lose, and I have not seen traps be super, super effective in in you know in really changing the the amount of points, changing the amount of things that you're that you're killing. Uh, so really, I I recommend not really doing trap research. Uh, and that's that's including the defense trap re research. Uh, you can see that I have not done my trap research uh, because I don't think that it's worth it. Uh, and so I don't I don't build traps. I save my resources for troops and for other things that are not are not killed so easily. Um, and then you know there's some other things like uh, the increasing the walls HP. That's not super important for PvP. You can eventually max those things, but you know, certainly focus on the important things. And I would say 
this one is probably the most important one to max as soon as possible because it increases the healing speeds. So basically, this reduces the amount of, of healing speeds that you're going to have to use to heal a march or whatever. You know, let's say you're healing a march in battlefield or whatnot. Challenge is going on right now. Uh, you know, you don't want to be spending thousands of days of speed ups to heal a single march. So, you know, continue to, to improve on this one. You can see you get 100% uh, healing speed increase, which is awesome. Um, and then, you know, of course, doing these, these, these other ones, these buff ones is amazing. So, for example, you see that here at that, this current level, you get 27% uh, mount troop HP. And this, this is essentially, uh, I'm going to say a, a flat percent increase, which is confusing because it's not flat refines. It's not, it's not related to that, but it is a, I guess I should say an overall percent increase. So this percent increase, uh, applies when you're marching, reinforcing, defending, attacking, all of these different things. Uh, it's 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 just overall that you're getting this this buff, uh, which is amazing. Uh, and so, you know, even just doing this for bosses is 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 great. You know, getting an extra twenty seven percent, getting this up to up to you know uh, level forty and 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 getting this max that to twenty five is is going to be huge. And so, really, when you do all of these things. Uh, the reason why I recommend doing the normal academy research first and upgrading the normal academy first for low coiners to free to play players is because uh, a lot of a lot of players, particularly on older servers, will have a bunch of research zone, will have some gold, uh, will have some speeds, but they won't have a lot of tactic scrolls, and so these don't require tactic scrolls. And so you're able to to go through a bunch of this research uh, without requiring those you know kind of pay to play element of it. And so uh, if you're if you're a free to play player or a low coiner, I would recommend getting getting your academy up to your keep level as soon as possible. You know, so for example, if you're if you're K you know, 37, get it up to 37. Do all this research. It's going to help. It's going to increase your buffs quite substantially if you're k40 and you're either stuck at k40 for a bit or you're uh or you're you know just realistically not going to be able to upgrade to k41 um and you know unlock military academy or you just don't have a lot of tactics rolls if you have you know 10,000, 20,000 tactic scrolls, even that's not a lot to do to do a lot of the new research. And so uh, a lot of times it'll be better to just prioritize this this regular academy where you can speed through a lot of a lot of you know new research and get a lot of those buffs uh, and increase that that defense because you know the buffs that people have nowadays are are just wicked strong and so you need to do anything you can to increase your defense uh which you know this helps quite a bit on i will say one thing to note here is that this this assumption is that you can get research stones or you have a bunch of research stones you can see that i have almost 250,000 of them i uh, i don't need them you know i'm going to run through all this research and i'm still going to have probably 200,000 or more of them uh but if you're on a newer server where you haven't played quite as long you haven't accumulated quite as much stuff uh research stones might be a limiting factor and then in that case, maybe you maybe you don't prioritize. I mean, I would still recommend doing as much research as you can. But if you're running out of research stones, it's it's not it doesn't really benefit you to keep increasing your academy level if you're not going to be able to do this research. Um, uh, and then in that case, you know, you would maybe want to focus on military academy or uh, or elsewhere. Um, but really, you know, free to play players, low coiners. Focus on this military, or focus on the normal academy research on that last on that last tier, the defense advance. Um, that's going to give you so many good buffs that you need. Um, however, if you are a coiner, if you are getting to K41, if you're getting you know advancing past that, um, 
And if you have, you know, your, uh, for example, if you have your, your tech maxed for Military Academy 5, I actually would suggest rush to rush to keep 41 rush to military academy 6 because it unlocks so much important research um you can maybe do a level or two of of the normal academy uh but really the military academy is going to give you amazing amazing research let's let's look at some of it you know so for example uh this is this is pretty standard um but really where you where you get a huge benefit is these big ones, uh, which used to be only two uh, troop types, now affect three troop types. So ground troop, mount troop, and siege machine attack by 3% and reduces two types. So in this case, enemy ground troop and mount troop HP by 6%. So that's huge. Um, uh, so that's, that's big. And then as we get into kind of the similar ones to the ones before that were in rally and then also defending ones again you're you're targeting two troop types and two troop two troop types for joining rallies and two troop types for defending and so uh this is you know uh, again amazing buffs this is this is like the the level six the first the first you know stuff that you can unlock and even just getting it halfway, which is required to get to the, the next ones, uh, you're getting 45% mount troop and ground troop attack when defending. So that's 90% buffs there. In addition to the 40% buffs, 20 and 20, for mount, ground troop and mount troop uh, when joining Alliance War. So overall, this one research gives you... 130 percent buffs granted they all apply at different times but i mean that's that's crazy for 10 levels of of a of a of a research you know for example let's look at kind of a similar one uh decoy one you know this is the again the first level of this so this you get 30 percent total for increased siege machine hp when joining alliance war and 40% total defense when defending. And this is only this is just for siege. So that was that was for for two troop types and at half the level it was giving you at, uh, around the same buffs that you had here. A little bit less HP but you know more defense here. And so uh really if you're if you're thinking about okay, I am I'm looking to to do really well in all stars, or I'm looking to you know help my team in challenge or or whatnot, and you you're trying to make a decision between going to K41 and unlocking Military Academy six, or building up troops or something like that. I would highly recommend going to Military Academy six if you have the tactics rolls because the 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 research is so good, and then you also get additional march size capacity. Um, you know, of course, you you then can can upgrade your uh, your rally spot uh, to get even more march size capacity. Um, but then, yeah, just in general, when you're when you're looking at this at this military academy research, and this applies for the the new research and the old research, um, is you have to kind of think about what are you going to be doing primarily. If you are doing primarily soloing and you know attacking and stuff like that, you really want to prioritize these these ones. You know, same thing here uh, that increase you know the the your stats when you're attacking. In this case, ground troop and mount troop HP when you're attacking. In this case, the same thing for defense. And you really want to prioritize these bigger ones, uh, which increase your attack um, for the the given troop types and reduce, you know, have some sort of debuff. Um, however, if you're primarily joining rallies, defending, whatnot, uh, you should really not really prioritize those ones quite so much because it only applies when you're attacking. And 
most good alliances should be attacking and defending, and so you have to do a little bit of both. But really what you should be prioritizing, if you're not a big soloer, if you're not you know, uh, leading attacks quite as much, is to focus on ones like this, where it gives you the, the joining alliance war bonus here, but also the uh, the defending bonus, because the defending bonus is probably going to end up being more important for you, but you also get that nice buff on on you know when you're joining the alliance war. So if you look at at this again, this is 20% ground troop and mount troop HP. Uh, even just ignoring the defending part of it, this is 20%. Uh, and you compare the, that to this one, which is only 15% when attacking. So when you're joining alliance wars, when you're not doing just soloing, this one is way better regardless. And so it makes sense to focus more on these if you're if you're in that case. Um, if you're soloing and, and attacking primarily, you probably have enough tax scrolls or you might have more tax scrolls to be able to do a little bit more of, of everything. Again, if you're primarily soloing, you probably want to expand your march size as quickly as possible uh, because you know sending more in a single march is is you know just as important as increasing those buffs. Um, and that that applies again for regardless of whether it's the, the the military academy five and earlier stuff or the the later stuff um and then you know of course i uh, i didn't say it earlier but the melee formation is primarily uh ground and mount troop buffs and the long range formation is primarily siege and archer buffs um so yeah i just wanted to to go through this i know it's super confusing um, but really, if you you'll probably see different alliance members do different things, but that that really depends on what you're what you're looking for. Again, I will reiterate: low coiners, uh, free to play players, you're advancing your academy is going to be your friend. It's it's a little bit cheaper. You don't have to get to K41, um, and the the buffs are are also very good on you know. Overall buffs again, not just defending, not just attacking, uh, but overall uh, for a lot of them. And so, yeah, getting that up to to your keep level or to K or to level 40 is going to be huge uh, on on your defense buffs and and you know kind of your overall buffs. If you're if you're advancing faster than that, then that's when you go. That's when you want to prioritize your military academy six. Um, and you know, building your keep level and stuff like that. And one thing that I do also want to point out when you're you're talking about military academy is it doesn't always make sense to uh, to max the the previous stuff before you move on to the uh, the new stuff. So, for example, um, let me just find some example here. Um, I'll go kind of towards the end. Um, yeah, so let's, let's take a look at this one. This is, this is one of the ones that I actually really like, but unfortunately just unlocked it recently. And so have not, have not actually maxed it. Uh, but basically I, I took a look at this and then I was trying to make the determination on, does this actually make sense to do this one or the new tech? And so you can see that this one requires 617 tactic scrolls. Uh, for four percent range troop attack uh, when joining alliance war, and you know five percent buffs uh, range troop HP when defending, and so let's compare that to some of the new research. You know this would be similar to um, again this long range formation one. This is the siege and, and archer one. Uh, so let's find uh, this one. Okay, so this one is two and a half percent. Siege machine and range troop attack, and then increasing the defense of both of those by four and a half percent. So the again, this is not HP, so it's not a a, a direct comparison, but uh, the defense is is also important here. And this is almost five. So right, this is this is a little bit more than half of that other one, but this one is almost almost there. 
And this one you can see is 199 tactic scrolls. So if you're limited on tactic scrolls like I currently am, um, you know, until we get a couple more Yimmer and Pan days and stuff like that, uh, you need to look at what is the most the most effective for your your tactic scroll. And so in this case, a lot of the new research is way way more efficient in terms of tactic scrolls and buffs than the old stuff is. So, you know, clearly I have not I have not maxed out, you know, all of all of my, you know, uh all of my tech, you know, you see I haven't even done any of these. I have I'm on level one for a lot of those, you know, eight here, just basically did the minimum to unlock it, you know, need to, you know, finish that one. I have more on, on ground troop that I need to do. Um, but really, if I take a look at it, it makes way more sense for me to focus my tactic scrolls on this new research. And then eventually, once I've gotten to the point where it makes you know, where it's kind of the break-even point or or it's a little bit cheaper to do the old research, then I can go back and, and do that research. Uh, but, you know, don't don't feel locked in to do the previous research before you get to the new research. You know, and if that's, that's one of your determining factors on whether you want to push troops or push, you know, tech and, and you know, Military Academy 6 and, and K-41 and, you know, even further, uh, that's that's what you should really be be thinking about not not whether oh like yeah i haven't finished military academy 5 neither have i you know and quite frankly i haven't even have finished military academy 1 in some cases like yeah here i i don't have it completely maxed i probably should go back and, and max some of those things but again if you look at some of these things you get you're getting you're getting more value uh for less tactic scrolls, less, you know, gold and stuff like that. So that's kind of my recommendation. I know this was kind of a long ramble uh, on my thoughts on tech power, but hopefully this helps you guys. Hopefully this helps you prioritize what what you should be looking for in terms of um, in terms of, you know, what pri what you're prioritizing in terms of normal academy, military academy, when you should, you know, focus on each one um, and, and a little bit of how you how you plan out your, your growth going forward. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. And as always, please remember to like and subscribe.